Anna and I never discussed, you know, if they could have anything like Kurt and Wyatt were doing. We didn't do anything like that. But I love that um, it came out so that it looks like it kind of runs in the family, this sort of charge forward kind of woman. I am so glad that you can see and hear me this time. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah. Good to see you. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> Well, thank you. It has been so much fun watching the show and seeing both of you. You're you're both so wonderful in it. Um, thank you. Thanks. Chris, I would love to start with Anders. Uh, what is it like playing a young Bill Randa? Were you taking any notes on John Goodman's performance from, from Skull Island? I was reassured that I wouldn't have to be John Goodman by the creators when they uh, came to me about the job. And I said, that's great because... I don't know if I can get there. Dude is a legend, you know. He's he's got more arrows in his quiver uh, than I do for sure. Uh, so yeah, I just am like bringing what I bring, and hopefully that works for people. Um, but it's very cool to like tell friends and family like I'm young John Goodman, no big deal. And Mari, I read. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I read that you got a, a BA in international relations. Is that true? Okay. <laughs> No, it's a lot. No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's, I feel like it's relevant because a, a big part of Dr. Mira's story is that she's Japanese working with Americans in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, you know, did that side of, of her character and her story uh, interest you in any special way? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's funny because the university I went to in Japan was built by Americans after the war because they said, we need to teach Japanese people uh, critical thinking. So that's the school I went to. <laughs> the character herself is such a, I don't know, she's such a special person. You know, she's a, obviously an anomaly. And that's why she's she has the courage to leave Japan and go to America, that they were at odds with each other, Japan and America, just a few years ago. And there's still so much bad blood between them. And to say, you know what, I'm going to, I need to figure this out. So I'm going to, you know, go into the lion's den in a way and do what I want to do, like pursue what I want to do. And um, to have that kind of conviction um, is so appealing as a character to play. Um, and obviously, like, she's flawed in like so many ways, but I think... Um, I think it's just, it makes it way more interesting. It's like, it's, she's so human. She's so messy and complicated. And, um, there's nothing more fun than playing somebody that's so, that has so many layers and such a rich history. So yes, I love her so much. That's, <laughs> you know, Anders, you were, you were talking about kind of having errors in your quiver, but you are known for your comedy and you do such a good job in this dramatic show like you clearly can can crush it in both but i'm yes. i'm wondering is there is there something from your comedy background that allowed you to give bill randa something that maybe wasn't in the script i don't know you know i just i try and bring like a little levity to some of the scenes and to the character and i like to think that the writers kind of picked up on what my strengths and weaknesses were and so they started writing fewer long uh, speeches <laughs> that I can't memorize and maybe writing funnier quips, you know? I think that, you know, there was a really sort of like intense scene. And then Wyatt was like, I feel like Billy should say something. And then you added this like really funny line that was like such a nice button to the scene. And I laughed so hard. And then when you first said the scene, the line, it just came out of you. And then Wyatt was like, that's why she marries him, you know? <laughs> It was such a, yeah, interesting moment of like, oh, that's the dynamic. So, yeah, it really helped right. us. And I, I don't it. know if John Goodman was doing that. That's all. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, <laughs> Mari, how much of, how much are the other storylines in the show on your mind as you're shooting and, and making this? Is it, do you ever feel like you had, there's like so much going on that it's difficult to to stay present? I read the scripts over and over, but when I'm playing the character, Keiko doesn't know her grandkids exist. So, you know, 
there's nothing she needs to know in that sense, you know. And um, I've heard people say, like, you know, she, they, they can see parallels between Keiko and Kate. And I love that that happened, the sort of, like, resolve that they have and the tenacity and all of those things. And um, I don't, Anna and I never discussed, you know, if they could have anything like Kurt and Wyatt were doing. We didn't do anything like that. But I love that. Um, it came out so that it looks like it kind of runs in the family, this sort of charge forward kind of woman. So, yeah. And I, I was curious for both of you, is there someone, you know, any any actor or, or character from the other timeline that you wish that you had been able to work with? I don't know. Watching it now. I mean, yeah, Anna, like it's so weird because you would just see them on set, like heading in when you're heading out and you're like, how's it going? They're like, good. You, you go. I don't know. We're all just shouting at screens, right? You know, let's hope it cuts together. Um, but everybody is so gripping and talented. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess like Kurt to just check that box. You know what I mean? Um, but everybody's so fantastic. Joe and I don't yeah. know. The list goes on. Joe's character is so fun. Tim is just so fun. Um, would love to kind of, you know, He's a theater guy, so I would just kind of love to mess around with him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, is there a specific maybe Titan that you would like to to see in a season two if you're able to return? Mm. I mean, I got to go classic with Mothra. That's a good one. You know, hide your wool. Mothra's coming. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a really good one. That is my pick as well, honestly. That, that's great. 